But we begin this morning with a coronavirus pandemic once again disrupting life in the U.S. One week ahead of Christmas, federal health officials are seeing an uptick in cases primarily fueled by the Delta variant with fears that holiday gatherings and the highly infectious Omicron variant will create yet another surge. The latest outbreak is triggering a nationwide push for Americans to get booster shots. The average number of cases is up 26 percent over the past two weeks. Hospital Hospitalizations climbed 3% in the past week alone, all with Omicron uh, presenting just 3% of cases. But Omicron is well on its way to becoming the dominant strain of the virus in the U.S. Elise Preston begins our coverage here in New York this morning. Elise, good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Mayor Bill de Blasio says the Omicron variant is in full force in New York City. More than 8,000 new cases were reported here on Thursday, a record for one day. But the good news is that hospitalizations and deaths are far lower than at their peak in the spring of 2020. That's still not keeping some schools and businesses from stepping up precautions. In the week before Christmas, long COVID test lines, this one in Miami may be a sign. Americans are trying to play it safe this holiday season. Trying to get plenty of sleep, loading up on our vitamins, uh, wearing our masks, keeping our hands clean, trying to keep our six feet and uh, do our part. 109 million people are expected to travel over the holidays, a 34% jump from last year, with 6 million going by air. But Omicron is traveling fast, too. The number of states with cases rose to 41 this week. New York City hospitalizations are up 64 percent in two weeks. And although Delta continues to circulate widely in the United States, Omicron is increasing rapidly, and we expect it to become the dominant strain in the United States, as it has in other countries in the coming weeks. We have about a three-week window to prepare for this next surge. That's Oregon's Governor Kate Brown yesterday. I'm calling on one million Oregonians to step up and get their booster dose by the end of January. The CDC put another spotlight on booster doses yesterday when a panel said a Pfizer or Moderna booster is preferred over the Johnson & Johnson vaccine because of rare instances of blood clotting. Given the current state of the pandemic, both here and around the world, any vaccination is better than no vaccination. With so many breakthrough cases in the Rockettes cast at Radio City in New York, the entire holiday run was canceled Friday. That follows nine Broadway shows. And a surge in cases sacked plans for a full slate of NFL games this weekend. On Friday, the league postponed three games until early next week after more than 60 players on three teams tested positive. Late last night, the Biden administration's rule requiring vaccinations for testing for employees of large private businesses got a boost. A federal appeals court reversed a lower court ruling to pause the nationwide mandate. Now, the rule could affect 84 million workers. Republican attorneys general who sued to block the mandate say they will appeal to the Supreme Court. Jeff? Elise, thank you very much. For 